Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to add dependencies to your POM file in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to do it two ways. Um, one, I'm going to use the mavenrepository.com website, which will work in every version of Maven or IDE that you wish to work in. And secondly, I'm going to use it, do it using the built-in Visual Studio Code dependencies add-on. Um, that one is more specific to Visual Studio Code, but functionality like this exists in all other IDEs. So let's start with um, Maven Repository. I'm at mavenrepository.com and this is a simple search engine that allows you to find the tool you want. Suppose I want to play with um, Jason, so I'm going to use find Jackson. You know, so I've got Jackson Annotations, Jackson Core, Jackson Data Bind, whichever one I need I'm going to click on. So I'm clicking Jackson Core, I'm given the versions I wish. You click on the version you want. Click inside here, Chrome automatically copies that. Come back to your POM file and add it in. And of course, we need to be pretty, so I'm going to format documents. Uh, the next one I'm going to pull off is we're going to use, I'm going to use the built in tool in Visual Studio Code. And that's down here in dependencies under Maven. Now, if you don't have this, it's because you need an extension. The two extensions you need for Maven are Maven for Java, and you need the extension pack for Java. That's for Microsoft. But this one is what you need to get Maven to work here. So I have it done here. I'm going to hit the plus next to dependencies, and I'm going to type in the, the artifact ID you wish to find. So I'm going to look for Jackson Data Binds, and then I get it from every possible source in the world. Pick the one you wish to use. If you're not sure, talk to your instructor or talk to another coworker. Um, I like to pick from the source. I know that Jackson's from Faster XML, so I'll pick Faster XML. Beautiful. Um, periodically, I get this bundle in here, which sometimes causes issues, so I'm just going to delete that. Oops. All right. And that's it. So now you know how to add dependencies to your Maven file in Visual Studio Code. 